Hello, my name is Nils Rasmussen from Solver Inc. Today we're going to show you BI360 for Acumatica, and that gives you reporting, budgeting, dashboards, analysis, and data warehousing. Let's get started. Here we are in the BI360 architecture. This will give you a quick glimpse of how all of the components fit together. At the bottom of the screen, you can see examples of different data sources, where of course Acumatica is a key data source as the ERP system. We have two types of integrations to Acumatica. The first one you see with the dotted line where our report writer goes directly live into the Acumatica database and the same with our dashboard, it's real time. And that integration will work for any time that you install BI360 together with Acumatica, for example, in the private cloud or on-premises. The second type of integration you see with the cloud here on the right. So if Acumatica is in the cloud where you cannot install BI360, well then we have an integration that uses the Acumatica API, just like we have a similar integration to tools like salesforce.com, and we can bring that data directly into the BI360 data warehouse, which can be installed on-premises or in another cloud. That's up to you. So with those integrations, you basically get to the Acumatica data. And that gives you the BI360 report writer, which is Excel-based. It's a very modern Excel add-in, and it has a web front end. So you can do all of your financial statements and even sub-ledger reporting. We also have our budgeting module, which gives you Excel and web-based budgeting. Again, you can choose with our Excel interface or our web interface. Either way, you're going to be designing the reports and the budgets with our Excel add-in. So you have a lot of flexibility. And then finally, we have the dashboard module, which is all web-based, and it's in the same web portal that you'll see in a second, where you have the reporting and budgeting. In our data warehouse, which can bring together any type of data source and be a place for consolidation, for the budget data, all of the big action can happen there. And finally, we have a collaboration module that's optional, uh, which allows you to have social type discussions around your reports, around your budget process, and will capture all of that dialogue also in our data warehouse. So with this said, let's take a look at BI360. What you see here is our web interface. It's a very modern web interface where you have the ability to set up favorites. Favorites is what I love to do myself as a user of our system and as a manager. I simply have gone through the portal and clicked on that little star you see in the upper left corner here uh, for each report and each dashboard that I like to use. And then all I need to do when I log in is come to favorites and then I see my frequently used reports and dashboards here. As you can see, it's a really easy navigation experience because you see a big image of each single report as we go along. So we're clicking through some financial statements and now you see a dashboard. So a dashboard is slightly different technology underneath the hood uh, because it's all about the graphics versus the reports is all about formatted financial reports, subledger reports and budgeting. So What's cool is that it comes together in the portal, like you see, that's a dashboard, that's a report. Same user security, same interface, makes it really easy for the user to do analysis in the report and maybe move to a dashboard to do deeper analysis, just like we'll do here. So we'll open this report, and up comes the report. We can change parameters, as you see here, and based on our user security, we'll be allowed to run this for you know, consolidated or any individual company and period. And when we say run, you click this button and you're now running a live report. And it will go through the internet, come back, give you the results, and you can go full screen and have a nice viewing experience. In this case, all the profit and loss report, all built with our Excel-based report writer, but run through the web, as you can see here. The user can also pick a number like the four million that you see here, right click and drill down and see the detailed transactions behind that number. As you move along and you are analyzing this financial report, you might want to bring that down to Excel. You simply click, click this download button 
And when you do that, give it a name, store it to your desktop, and you can open it locally in Excel. All of the Excel formulas will still be there um, because it was originally born in Excel. So it's very, very easy to go from web back to Excel again. The other thing is you're analyzing the report. You might want to go right over to a dashboard. Now we still see our favorites here at the bottom of the browser. You can see different examples of dashboards that we built. So I want to go right into a sales dashboard because I want to get into more detail on the P&L. So now we can see a sales dashboard and you can see that uh, I have top 10 products on the top. I have the dollar sales over three years here at the bottom and I have parameters on the top right side where I can select which years to see and so on. So I can drill down on the product. Notice how it drilled down to salespeople here and on the chart at the bottom, it drilled down into the individual months only for that Panacea product that we drilled on. And we can keep drilling on Nancy and go all the way down to the customer level. So dash dashboards can be very interactive and it's very easy to use and it's very easy to see trends, regardless of what type of dashboard that you might design to build. Here's another example. So with that said, you've seen a little bit of the user interface on the web. And the very last thing we'll do is show you one budget form and one um, report. Both of those I will show you through the Excel interface so that today you get to see an end user both working through the web or working through Excel. So let's go to Excel and look at a report and then the budget template that way. So what you see here is the Excel add-in. So we are in Excel and BI360 is an add-in to Excel. So whether you are a power user designing the report, which you'll do here in Excel, or you're an end user running the report, you can access the reports. You see a whole bunch of them sitting here on my menu and run them from right here. So I'm, I picked this one report, actually the same one that you saw through the web, and I'm gonna run that based on these parameters, this month and this company, and we say run. Exactly the same report, but now you see it here through Excel. The drill down that you saw earlier, remember we were drilling down on that 4 million, I can right click, exactly the same drill down, happens here through Excel. Okay. So with this said, now I'm showing you that as a user, you can choose your interface. If you got two or three people in the company, you might just use the Excel interface and you'll do your budgeting and reporting there. If you got a whole bunch more users or you simply prefer to work through the browser, well then you use the browser interface to do that. The last thing that we'll look at is a budget template. So you also get to see that. So let's switch over to our budget template. So what you see here is the menu system on the left side of Excel where I can, as an end user, manage my budget. And within budgeting, you can have very, very detailed budget models. For example, payroll budgeting, capital budgeting, um, assumptions, cash flow, balance sheet, project budgeting, and so on. All of the, those are templates you can design within BI360 in the Excel environment. Today, we're just gonna look at one example and I'm gonna open this up right now. So here you can see me in the budget template. Now on purpose, I have not executed it yet because I want to show you that it's all parameter driven. So if you got 20 department heads, for example, 20 different departments here, all they need to do is come in here and choose their department from the list. The same you would do with the company, the budget version, and so on. And it's full security, so you cannot go to any departments or companies that you don't have access to. And you say run, notice when I say run, now it brings up the template populated with data because I've already entered some budget data in here and it pulls that up from the database. If I scroll far out to the right, you can actually see it brought up actuals as well as forecasts for the rest of the current year. Those just like you wanna do with most budget processes. And of course that actual data originates from Acumatica. And as you're going ahead and budgeting here, you're simply using your Excel skills, entering the data. And you can use all Excel formulas as you go in here. So you can drag and copy. You can do whatever you want. All Excel features are available. And finally, we have a spreading tool. So if I delete out a little bit of data here, 
and we pretend we're going to enter office supplies, but at the more detailed level, well then we can go in here to enter data. It's going to open a screen on top with some extra functionality in it that we don't need to show, like charts. And what's pretty cool is, once we minimize the screen a little bit, is you see Excel right below, but here we can come in and we can say copy the history from last year, which is what you see above there, and maybe increase it by a certain percent or decrease it by a certain percent. You see you have all kinds of methods for spreading here. And you can also enter comments that get stored securely in the database together with the budget. As soon as I say update Excel, it wrote that down to Excel and I hit the save button. We're saving this budget back to the BI360 data warehouse. And here you can also do line item detail where you can go below the account. We go into the line item details and we can say we want to have pens. We want to buy some paper and so on. You can go on as much as you want with as many line items as you want that's below the Acumatic account number and that will roll up to the account and restoring both the detail and the summary to our database. And when that's done, you're done with your budget and you simply come up to the save button and you save it into the BI360 database. All your other budget users will do the same and then you can go and consolidate it with our report writer and you are done. There's also a workflow that we didn't show you today that can control when users start and when they're finished and so on. So the final thing we'll do is just summarize up what you have just shown here in PowerPoint. So in summary, BI360 has a number of different modules to fulfill all of your business intelligence needs. We have a module for financial reporting consolidation that can report on GL and subledger data. We have budgeting and forecasting that you just saw. We have the dashboard that you saw. We have the data warehouse, which you haven't seen, but it has a beautiful interface to manage. It's totally non-technical that can bring together Acumatic and other data sources, and is also your budget database. And we also have the collaboration that allows you to have discussions around budgets, if you so desire, and around reports. We have two integrations. We have live to Acumatica, and we can go into Acumatica Cloud and bring the data into our data warehouse and then report on it from there. So you can choose the type of integration you want to use. We work through the Acumatica Partner Channel, and you can also contact us at info at solveusa.com, as well as using any of the URLs. We also have these videos on the Acumatica website. Thank you very much.